We are here to celebrate and witness this special season, the next season, the next chapter in the life of Arnie and Ivy. <clears throat> is this recording already? Oh, it is. <laughs> All right. August 9, 2015. My love. I walked into church expecting it to be just like any other Sunday. Instead, I met you, this incredibly handsome, young, 20-year-old indie kid studying in Bible college. Little did I know the boy with the tattoos would change my life forever. My love, we are finally here. Today, I will get to call you my wife. How crazy is that? When I first met you, I knew that we had met each other for a reason, the spark, <laughs> that God had placed us right in the position that He planned for us to be in that day. I simply look back at it now and believe that it was the Holy Spirit telling me that I have found the one whom my soul loves. I can't believe we get married in a few hours. It's been a big journey since our first day of meeting, of learning, changing and growing. We've been through so much together. Yet here I am so, so uncontainably excited for more with you. You have held me up in the lowest of times and continue to build me up even when I am strong. You have never given up on me even when I walked away. You opened my eyes to see things that I can't see by myself. My faults, my strengths, my weaknesses, my desires. You are the light of my life. You are the greatest of gifts I could have ever asked for. This is why I've chosen you to do this life with. With someone who never gives up on me. With someone that cares for me so, so, so much. With someone who encourages me to be my best self always. I am in awe of God who shows us how much lives can be changed through examples of His love. You have been that for me. I hope that I can continue to do the same for you for the rest of our lives together. I cannot wait for all the family traditions we'll create together. I cannot wait for our kids to grow up and realize their parents are soulmates. So cheesy but true. I cannot wait for it all. You are truly the bestest friend I've ever had and you make my life so, so fun. I'm so excited to grow old and wrinkly with you, forever me and you. This is our special day. Be brave, okay? By the end of today, I'll have the privilege to call you my wife for life. I love you so, so much, and I'm excited for a new life and season. See you soon, my love. I'm so in love with you, and I can't wait to see you. I'll see you down there on the other end of the aisle. Look out for me. I'll be the one in the white dress. Love you so, so much. Mrs. Texan to me. Thank you for joining us today, especially those who have travelled long distances. Ivy, I vow to never leave your side. Even in the hard times, even when we fight, I will not let weakness allow me to give up. I will always stay, always. I will be committed. Never will I walk away from you. I will always be with you, hand in hand, together. Ivy. I vow to protect you from harm. When the world is going against you, I will be your guard. I will fight for you, not against you. I will fight for you. I will forever be on your side, protecting you from any harm that comes your way. In everything, I will always be your safeguard. Arnie, our relationship may not be perfect as no relationship is, but it is three things. It is real, it is raw, and it is always transparent. And that's all thanks to you. So firstly, I vow to be just that, to keep our relationship real and raw and transparent with an open heart to all that you have to say, coming from a place of understanding always. I vow to always remember the love. I'm so blessed to have you and that you've never given up on our love. So I vow to always keep choosing you every day, to keep fighting for you always, and to never give up on our love. Ivy, I vow to always cherish you. You're the greatest gift that I've been given in life, and I'm grateful for it. I will always remind myself daily of how precious you are and give you the love and respect that you deserve. I will give affection freely and show you often how much I love you and care for you. 
I know that I'll be here with you and for you till the day the Lord decides to bring you home. And I vow to champion you, respect you always, and believe in you in your craziest and wildest dreams, building you up in the times that you feel low, encouraging you to be the man that you've been called to be, loving on you through all your impulsiveness, adventurousness, and the crazy deep thoughts that you come up with that my mind absolutely struggles to comprehend, <laughs> and through just the everyday days. And lastly, I vow to keep Christ at the very center of our marriage as we pursue him more heartedly for the rest of our days. I vow to see you always as God does. You are so beautiful. You are so wonderfully made. You are bold and confident, strong and courageous. I pray to always have God's eyes when I see you. I will see you in your best light always. I will always believe the best in you and for you, and I want to dream dreams of you always. So by the power vested in me by the state of Queensland, and in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Arnie, you may now kiss your wife. Since I met 